on the Brentwood. For people that have been watching my videos a while, this will look kind of familiar to you because there was a time I actually worked down here. That's a heck of a haul from Portland to Brentwood. going is a country club. It's the guy's work truck. He's still there. And it's just down the road here. Yeah. The windshield off so y'all can see something. I can see something. Alright, this is Granny White Pike. And we're turning right here. Trying to follow his directions. I didn't do the normal thing and actually write him down. I just asked him where it was. He told me over the phone. The Granny White Pike, take a right, it's down about two to three miles. Golf course on the left. And for those of you that get annoyed about my wipers, again, I'm sorry, but. I think this is it, Brentwood Country Club. Oh, maybe not, it says dead end. Oh, this is gonna be fun, trying to back this trailer around in here. Oh good, it's a cul-de-sac. Just turn around, yay. These some nice houses. Wow. Could even be somebody famous, you never know. Especially right here on the golf course. It's nice that there's not a, a whole lot of people on this street. Then he put an orange cone out. Ah, there we go. Orange cone. Tell me just to follow that back to the end. And there's a trailer. His trailer's there with a truck bed sitting on it already. And I'm making this quick and painless so I can get back home. Of course, as nasty as it is at my house because it just came a downpour all night last night. Oh, that guy's dedicated as heck. Out playing golf in this weather. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, as muddy and wet as it is at my house, and evidently here too, there's no way that I'm getting out working on 
anything today. Okay. I take it this is where they bring all the leftover stuff and sit it. I don't see no. Ah, there it is. Sand and tree trimmers and the whole nine. There's a the truck bed. All right. Is that gonna work? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can um, get that off of there on the mine easy. Okay. I'll just pull up or back in beside it. Okay. I'll let him uh, drive back up there and I'll help you load her up. Alrighty. Big time. Give me that for about a week. Ooh, got a newer truck bed there, too. Out what them hoses are on the side of it. Oh, it looks like that might have been a dually. It's a Dodge. Yeah. But there's the truck bed. My new one. So close, I don't think you can walk between them. Just slide it off of one onto the other, though. Hey. You want to flip it over on the top to do it?
this uh, this cut right here too on the bottom. Right there. So that well, gap's there. So. See, this is my first uh, body job or body work of any kind, so. Hundred bucks, you don't feel too bad. Oh, hell no. Especially since it's just a speed around the house around right. a truck. I don't even care what color it is, really. Right. I got a, just got me a DA. Probably go down the whole thing and just primer it up and leave it like that. Yep. It's easier to wash that, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> you got a, <laughs> you have a ratchet strap? Yeah. Okay. Woo. I haven't done anything like this in a while. Cool, thank you very much. Well, thank you, because, like I said, that would have cost me twice that anywhere else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably in, in the same shape or worse. Yeah. But. I figured that was fair for it, so. Well, I appreciate it big time. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, you only get 30 bucks for them at the scrapyard. Yeah. That's what my other one brought. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But it was rusted all up in the fender wells on the inside. Yeah. And I had actually cut parts of it out and started doing the repairs and everything and I saw it kind of eating away on the inside of the box I was like you know I'll do this and six months later I'll be doing it again yeah nah no thanks <laughs> rather than fight all that I'll just I'll just uh get me another box for it yeah but yeah we want to I got videos of all that up on my cool channels it's fine though I like oh I like yeah shooting videos got that going now, as a matter of fact, just not facing that way. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a little embarrassing. <laughs> but, you never know. Yeah. Crazy things happen, man. Well, I'm just amazed at what goes viral on those oh, sites. Yeah. I mean, the dumbest stuff. The dumbest stuff. Yeah. I see this stuff on the news all the time, and I'm like, what's so special about that? Yeah. Like this past Christmas, a little girl sitting there with her eyebrows dancing, I'm like... What? <laughs> gets a million, yeah. a million hits on it. And of course, once it hits the news, that just doubles oh, everything. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. All right, man. Good deal. Appreciate well, it. Well, I appreciate it. Good to meet Thanks you. Thanks for the help, too. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, see, I got work to do on this one also. Yeah, this is sad. That's happened within the last year. Mm. No, it just, it just hazed over. Of course, I know why it did. Uh, it had actually been hit on that fender. Not bad, just dented the fender in. But his insurance company totaled it out, and he put it back together himself. And obviously, he didn't know what he was doing painting. He didn't shoot clear coat on it. With the... uh, he put clear coat on it, but he it looks like he mixed it or something. Oh, yeah. There's no reason it should have hazed over like that in two years. And it's blowing off the little valley over there on that side. So I got this one to work on and the other one. <laughs> and I'm, that's gonna, that other truck's going to be my test monkey yeah with the body work and the everything else yep. and if i can get it right on that one then i'll attack it on this one because this is my baby so it's got to be right <laughs> well, thanks again <laughs> he's a good old fella seems pretty nice and i gave him my card so he's got a a link to all my channels already oh man might be a Dodge, but that's a pretty sucker. 2500 diesel. Heavy duty. Ooh, let me back up a second. I'm 
sorry, but y'all gotta see this. Been so long since I've done this, I forgot how to drive a doggone trailer. Now, y'all know I like my old Chevys, but there's a limit. I really like that one. That is sharp. My dad actually used to have a white short bed just like that. I believe that's uh, 72 to 74, maybe. I'm trying to remember what his was. Either way, that one's pretty doggone sharp, though. Got a little, little work to do on that one with the paint, but aside from that, I don't see much that's missing on that truck. That is nice. Oh. And there's the one that got the new bed. It's in a pretty good shape for a yard and turf truck. But yeah, so you've got a little bit of work on the bed on that one. Of course, he probably uses it as a truck, not just a showpiece. So, yeah, pretty nice though. And I could use that. Especially since it's one of them nice John Deere's. Got the loader on the front. All it needs a backhoe hookup on the back and I'd be set. Or to use their backhoe. <laughs> that would be nice. But, I don't know exactly which country club this is. If it's just the Brentwood Country Club or what the deal is. But, the tailgate's not been up as bad as I thought on that. That's it. But yeah, the tailgate's not as bent up as I thought it was. And that's hardcore, dude. Out there golfing. 40 degrees, wet, rainy, that's dedication to the sport right there. That's not your weekend, sunny day, let's have a business meeting out on a golf course golfer. Make it back to Portland in one piece. And we're good. I know people are going to ask. In case you're wondering, the bed cost me $100. So I'm broke again now. Had $107 in my account. And I'd been saving that specifically. I'm going to get this bed. Now, by some people's standards, the bed's junk because it's got a few dents in it. Really? 
I got no complaints. $100 for a bed with a couple dents and, and uh, that's been used versus is a, about the same thing from a junkyard for 400 plus dollars. Sorry, I'll take the hundred dollar option and, uh, and drive around with a uh, dent or two in it. Of course, that also is something else I can work on. I don't have to completely replace everything on this now. I don't have all the welded in panels and everything else I can work on doing dent removal instead of body panel replacement. It's a whole lot easier doing dent removal than cutting out and welding in panels and stuff. this because I've been doing body work for all of 10 minutes. That rear mirror is pretty much useless. Been sitting up pretty high. The fun part is going to be getting this in my yard. Because it is literally a soupy freaking mess. I almost didn't make it out of the yard with the trailer attached to the truck. So this is going to be fun. Oh, and this traffic that I'm setting in, this is nothing. Go back and look at my videos from when I worked down this way. Probably about a year ago now. Well, a little over a year ago. And, uh, This is light. This is just the uh, people getting out, going and doing things on the weekend kind of traffic. Rush hour. You don't even want to be here. Because it's completely unbearable. off in a heartbeat. Just craziness. trying to bring him along for this. Of course, if I break down, I might have to call him to come get my butt. Tell him, just bring your truck. I already got the trailer. He. <laughs> surprised. 
there's a lot of traffic out here for a Saturday. Of course, there's a lot of people that live in the Nashville area, too. you guys that I'd do the walk around when I got home. It's kind of windy so you'll have to forgive me for the the wind making the noise on in the camera the microphones but I'll give you a kind of close-up look we got a little little rust right there a dent right there that I'm pretty sure I can work out of it. Let's see how much the tailgate's bent which is not super bad but it does actually close. <coughs> um, this side's pretty good, but it's got a dent right down there with a cut in it. Easy enough to fix. Basically, it's just rash from being used. Man, it's cold. And then, of course, it's a work truck, so the bed's got some 
scratches and such in it. But all in all, I think it'll be good. Something I can work with. It's not rusted. It's dirty, as you can see. But it's not rusted. Not rusted anywhere in there. Welcome to the south. But that's pretty much it.